G'day mates. Philips has released a recall update for those of you waiting on System 1 50 series replacements and I thought I'd break it down for you now. One of the more complex aspects of the recall has been creating remediation options for older devices such as the System 1. And for those of you that don't know, the System 1 was the model prior to the Dream Station 1. So you had the System 150 series, they upgraded that with a heated tube to the System 160 series, then you've got the Dream Station 1, and now you have the Dream Station 2. These devices are past their warranty and useful life, which is typically five years. In the US, we had already stopped manufacturing the System 150 series devices prior to the voluntary recall, given that they were discontinued in 2013. Because these units are no longer part of our supply chain, it has created unique challenges in inventory, sourcing the parts needed for repair and remotely extracting the prescription dev device settings needed to supply a replacement device. For all these reasons, we have been working to find alternative remediation options for System 1 patients. Alternative remediation options. Now, a bit of background for you all. When the recall was first announced way back in June 2021, the System 150 series wasn't included in the list of devices. It was only a few months later that Philips realized that a lot of patients were still using this device, so they included it. Either that, or perhaps the FDA forced their hand, or perhaps it was an executive decision to stop Philips users jumping ship over to ResMed or another company. But whatever reason, the System 150 series was added to the list, and now they're going, uh-oh, what do we do about it? It's not part of the supply chain. Well, here's an idea that I've come up with in the last 15 seconds. Why don't you replace it with a machine that is part of the supply chain, like a Dream Station 1 or a Dream Station 2, which is what they will have to do. Continuing on, we cannot offer System 1 patients a new or repaired version of their current product. We understand this may be frustrating, more frustrating for Philips, I think, which is why we are providing the following two options. And you're gonna have a little chuckle to yourself at option number one. Financial payment for return of affected units. Removing affected products from use is an important part of our remediation program. We also know many patients have waited for some time for a solution. Therefore, we are offering financial payments to patients of, this has got to be a typo, $25 per System 150 series device returned to us. 25 bucks. You box up your device after waiting 18 months for the recall, send it back to them, and they'll send you 25 buckaroos. You can go buy yourself a pack of filters. Can you believe that? 25 bucks. The payment that we are offering is to help ensure affected units are no longer in use. Hang on. What does that even mean? Affected units are no longer in use. So it's not reimbursement. They're basically paying you $25 to get rid of it. That's what the $25 is for. It's like, a, it's like a tip fee. It will be paid by a check when we receive your System 150 series device. Anyway, that's option one. No one do that. Please do not send your device back for $25. Don't send your device back at all. Never send your device back. I've made that very clear. Option two, continue remediation pathway to receive a replacement device. You will need to provide a current prescription. And this is the option you wanna take, guys. Option number two, because what it means is you will receive an upgraded device. You won't receive a System 150 series, but you don't really want that device anyway because it's old and it's pretty crap. So you'll receive a Dream Station 1 or a Dream Station 2, which is part of their current supply chain. So this is the option you wanna take, guys. I don't know how many people are gonna be taking up that $25 per System 1. Maybe if it was $250, perhaps, but no. Uh, for $25, it's not worth your time, it's not worth your energy. Just wait it out, you'll get a Dream Station 1, a Dream Station 2. They're not great devices either, but at the same time, you, know, you can use it as a backup, um, or you can sell it on and make a bit of money on it that way. I will quickly touch upon the Philips CPAP mask recall as well. 
So 17 plus million Philips CPAP masks, like this Dreamwear full here, recalled due to the magnets. I've done a video on this now, guys. Click the link above if you wanna see the full video. But what hasn't been talked about is what do you do if you wanna replace your recalled mask? Because there's no patient portal like there is for the CPAP machine. What you need to do if you want to return a Philips recall mask is return it to the place where you purchased it from and ask for either a refund or a replacement. Now, Philips is hoping that you'll replace it with one of their masks that doesn't have magnets, but there's not too many good masks from Philips that don't have magnets. So I think you're best just to get a refund and then buy some other mask. So if you've got an old Dreamwear full here, it's in tatters, go and return it, get some money for it, and get a new mask. You can get an F30i from ResMed, an Evora full from Fisher & Paykel. They're better masks anyway. I'll leave it at that, guys. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.